Fiona the fox loved her cosy den in the forest. It was a snug little home, with soft moss and leaves for bedding, and a warm fire for cold winter night. Fiona spent her days playing with her siblings, exploring the forest, and learning important skills from her parents. But Fiona was always curious about what lay beyond the forest. She often sat at the entrance of her den, looking out into the unknown. She wondered what other animals lived beyond the trees, what adventures awaited her, and what sights she would see. One day, Fiona could no longer resist the call of adventure. She knew it was time to set out on a journey and explore the world outside the forest. Fiona's parents were hesitant, but they knew that Fiona was brave and smart. They hugged her tightly, wishing her a safe journey, and watched as she disappeared into the distance. Fiona's heart raced as she ventured further and further away from her den, into the unknown. She felt a mix of excitement and nervousness, but she knew that she was ready for whatever lay ahead. As she walked, she saw sights she had never seen before, a sparkling river, a towering mountain, and a field of flowers that stretched as far as the eye could see. Fiona smiled as she realized that this was just the beginning of her adventure. She knew that there was much more to explore, and she couldn't wait to see what lay ahead. As Fiona continued her journey, she met a group of animals who were also looking for adventure. There was a rabbit named Roger, a badger named Bertie, and a squirrel named Sammy. They were all very friendly and invited Fiona to join them on their journey. Fiona was delighted to have some new friends to travel with, and the group set off together. As they walked, they chatted and laughed, sharing stories about their lives in the forest. Fiona was fascinated to learn about the different animals and their habits, and she felt like she was part of a big family. As they traveled further away from the forest, Fiona noticed that the scenery was changing. The trees became sparser, and the ground became rockier. They encountered a steep slope, which they had to climb up carefully, helping each other along the way. When they reached the top, Fiona gasped in awe. In front of them was a vast expanse of grassland, stretching out as far as the eye could see. The grass was tall and golden, and there were wildflowers scattered throughout. In the distance, they could see a herd of horses grazing peacefully. Fiona and her new friends decided to explore the grassland, and they ran and played, feeling free and happy. They lay down in the grass and watched the clouds float by, enjoying the peacefulness of the moment. It was a beautiful day, and Fiona felt grateful for the new friends she had made and the adventures they had shared. After spending the day playing in the grassland, Fiona and her friends decided to set up camp for the night. They found a cozy spot under a large tree, and Fiona helped gather some branches to build a fire. As they sat around the fire, they heard a strange sound coming from the nearby hill. It was a low rumbling sound, like something moving deep within the earth. Fiona's friends were scared. She suggested that they investigate the source of the sound. As they approached the hill, they saw a dark opening in the rock face. It was a cave, and the sound was coming from inside. Fiona's friends were hesitant, but Fiona felt brave. The group ventured inside the cave, using the light from their fire to guide them. The air inside the cave was cool and damp, and there were strange rock formations and stalactites hanging from the sea. As they walked deeper into the cave, Fiona noticed something shiny on the ground. She picked it up and realized that it was a golden key. Fiona was excited and curious about what the key might unlock. She suggested that they continue exploring the cave, hoping to find a clue. Eventually, they came to a large underground chamber. In the center of the room was a beautiful crystal, sparkling in the dim light. Fiona approached the crystal, and she noticed that there was a keyhole in the base of the crystal. Fiona inserted the golden key into the keyhole, and to her surprise, the crystal started to glow. It was like magic, and Fiona felt a rush of excitement. The crystal emitted a bright light, and the whole chamber was illuminated. Suddenly, Fiona heard a voice calling out to her. It was a wise old owl who had been trapped in the cave for many years. The owl explained that the crystal had the power to grant wishes, but it could only be activated by a special key which Fiona had found. Fiona felt grateful for the adventure and the new friends she had made, but she knew that there was more to discover. She wished for the strength and courage to continue her journey and explore the world even further. With a flash of light, Fiona felt a surge of energy, 
and she knew that her wish had been granted. As Fiona and her friends emerged from the mysterious cave, they found themselves in a lush meadow filled with colorful flowers, buzzing bees, and fluttering butterflies. The air was filled with a sweet fragrance, and Fiona felt a sense of wonder and awe. They walked through the meadow, taking in the beauty of their surroundings. Suddenly, they saw a figure in the distance. It was a majestic unicorn, with a shimmering coat of white and a golden horn on its forehead. The unicorn approached Fiona and her friends, and it spoke to them in a soft, musical voice. The unicorn explained that it was the guardian of the meadow, and that Fiona and her friends were welcome to stay and explore as long as they liked. Fiona and her friends were thrilled to have met the unicorn, and they spent the day exploring the enchanted meadow. They climbed trees, chased butterflies, and made flower crowns. Fiona even spotted a rare bird with bright blue feathers. As the sun began to set, the unicorn approached Fiona and offered to take her on a ride through the meadow. Fiona was overjoyed and climbed onto the unicorn's back. They flew through the air, over hills and streams, and Fiona felt a sense of freedom and exhilaration. As the ride came to an end, the unicorn landed gently on the ground. Fiona felt grateful for the amazing adventure, and she hugged the unicorn tightly. The unicorn smiled and told Fiona that she had a special gift. She would be able to call on the unicorn whenever she needed help or guidance. Fiona said goodbye to her new friends, feeling a sense of warmth and contentment. She knew that she had experienced something truly magical, and she felt excited to continue her journey, knowing that she would always have the unicorn's support. As Fiona and her friends continued their journey, they came across a signpost that pointed in two directions. One path led back to the forest they had left behind, and the other led to a path they had not seen before. Fiona felt torn. She had come so far on her journey, and she wasn't sure if she was ready to leave the enchanted world she had discovered. She turned to her friends and asked for their advice. The wise owl spoke up first. Fiona, you have been on a fantastic journey, and you have grown so much along the way. But there is still one more thing you must do before you can return home. Fiona looked at the owl, curious. What is it? she asked. You must discover the secret of home, the owl replied. You have learned many things on your journey, but now it is time to apply those lessons to your life back home. Fiona thought about this for a moment, and then she knew what she had to do. She bid farewell to her new friends, and set off down the path that led back to her den. As she walked, she reflected on all that she had learned on her journey. She had learned the importance of courage, kindness, and friendship. She had discovered that the world was full of magic and wonder, and that anything was possible if she believed in herself. When she finally arrived back at her den, she saw it with new eyes. She realized that her den was not just a place to sleep, but it was her home. It was a place where she felt safe and loved. Fiona took a deep breath and stepped inside her den. She looked around and saw all of the familiar things she had grown to love, but this time she saw them in a new light. She saw the beauty in the simple things, like the sunlight that filtered through the leaves and the sound of the birds singing in the trees. As Fiona settled into her den, she felt a sense of peace and contentment. She knew that she had discovered the secret of home. Home was not just a physical place but it was a feeling of love, safety, and belonging, and Fiona knew that she could take this feeling with her wherever she went on all of her future adventures.